What's going on guys? Shane here with another trainer's tip. In this video, I'm going to go over 16 different jump rope techniques, moves that you can add to your skipping rope routine. And in this video, I'm using the Wad Nation jump rope. This thing is of the highest quality. It's the best jump rope I've ever used, so I definitely recommend it. Links in the description below if you want to get one for yourself. So here's number one. This is just double hops for uh, every one rotation of the rope, you're doing two hops. Now, I picked it up. Here's the second one is... For every one rotation, you're doing a hop. Okay, both feet are leaving the ground at the same time. Now I'm switching up and doing jumping jacks. All right, so legs are going in, legs are going out. Staying on the balls of my feet, nice and agile. Jumping over that rope with each hop. Now I'm crisscrossing my legs here, okay? See my legs are going crisscross here. So this is number four now. Crisscross on my legs, all right? This one is really going to help with your agility and, and balance and coordination, all right? And then I go into an ollie shuffle for number five. Shuffling my feet, my feet forward and back. All right. Again, stand on the balls of your feet. Your heels can touch the ground, but keep the weight and the pressure in the balls of your feet. Now I'm going into butt kicks now, or heels to the butt is number six. All right. Nice and easy one. You can go a little bit faster with this one. And then next up, number seven is high knees. Another one that you can go fast with. Try to get your knees up to at least your hips. All right. Try to get them 90 degrees uh, parallel to the ground. Now I'm going uh, one foot, which is number eight, and I'm just going left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right, just sort of shifting my weight into each leg, only one foot's on the ground at a, at one time. Number nine is side to side, we'll call it, so I'm crossing my arms and bringing the rope to one side of my body, then the other, and then through, so left, right, through, left, right, through. And continue to repeat. It's a, this is one that you're going to really have to get down because every time you mess up, you'll notice you go right back into that one. All right, number 10 here is crisscross. So I'm crisscrossing my arms, crossing the rope, and jumping in between. All right, you got to make sure they keep the momentum continuous. Keep that circular motion. All right, don't just crisscross your arms. You still got to pull down on the rope. Now we're doing double unders. All right, this is technically a CrossFit rope um, because it's, it's very quick, and you can get double unders. Um, very fluently, as long as you're good at them. All right, so great workout here um, for any athlete, double unders. As you can see, I'm going back to the side to side. Now we're doing squats with side to side. So I'm going left, right, and then I'm jumping through in a squat jump, or hoppers, as I sometimes call them. Great one here, one that Mike Tyson used to do. Uh, I messed up, but that's okay. <laughs> um, again, see, I just go right back to that side by side, so that's one that you're going to have to get down. And instead of squats, we can do jump lunges, another tough one. It's going to work your hips, going to work your core, your balance, and obviously your legs. I'm just doing side by side over and over again. What do we got next, Shane? What do we got next? Ah, a little rest period here in case you got a little itch on your nose like I did. So you can go just holding it by the side. All right, with one hand in between uh, your thumb and index finger and your index finger and middle finger. You just hold both, both handles. Number 15 is backwards, pretty challenging here, and then I tried to do a double under going backwards. Never tried this before, but it's definitely possible, and I did get it once and twice, and then I messed up. And then number 16, final one, last but not least, is just freestyle, mixing it up, guys. All right, going with some crisscross side to side, do some double unders, do some squats, mix it up, have fun. Uh, do a bunch of rounds with this. I mean, if you're doing, if you're skipping rope for boxing, you want to do at least three three-minute rounds, nine minutes total, with about a 30 to 60-second rest in between. All right, guys. Send me a question on Twitter at Fight Tips if you have any fight or uh, fitness-related questions, and I'll answer them. And make sure you subscribe so you get the fight tips before your opponent does. Until next time, I'm Shane with Fight Tips, self-defense for the underdogs.